What's an anime you wish you could watch for the first time again? This person said, Bleach and Digimon. Approved. This next person said, The Whole Big Three. Approved. One Piece. Naruto Bleach. Correct. Yeah. Bro, I'm not even going to go into it too hard because I, w I don't want to kill a whole episode. Everybody should know how I feel about Naruto at this point. And if you don't, Welcome to the show. Naruto is such a big, has a big influence and impact on my life. Sometimes I can't even talk too much about it because then I get emotional. That's how you, that's how you know that shit is. It's a certified banger across all the boards. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's your boy. Brother Ooch. Yo, brother Ooch, it's me, Yo, brother Ooch. and we are the Mother <laughs> Full Power Podcast. Yo, yes, sir. You already know. All right. It's been a long week. Not really. It's always a long week. It's a long, you know, however many days. In a week, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know, but you know what? We have a lot of things to talk about. I'm excited to be here because we have a new initiative, new plays in the making. We got more content coming along, and I'm feeling good about it because it's something new, something fresh, and I'm just I'm having these visions at the future. <laughs> and it's looking it's looking good. It's looking good. I don't have I don't have like the Millennium Eye or nothing. I don't have that Code Geass shit. I don't have none of that. But you know what? I'm feeling great, and the flow of this is is about to go as such, because we're literally gonna just go right into it before we do an intro. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. So this week's question, which I have a bunch of responses from both Instagram and the YouTube comments or the community tab. Mm -hmm. What's an anime you wish you could watch for the first time again? You don't have to answer. I'm just, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the question. <laughs> so I'm going to give you time while I'm reading off people's responses to think of what you would say to this. The first time. <laughs> yeah, because there's, there's plenty, right? And you don't have to give me one answer, but, you know, because it's, you know, it's our podcast. We do what the fuck we want. But, for those that answered, thank you again. Make sure, per usual, stay tuned to the socials so that you can see these questions and possibly get featured on an episode because we're engaging with everybody. Okay, so I'm checking the IG questions or uh, responses real quick. So this person said, Ronin Warriors. Have you ever heard of Ronin Warriors? No. Nah. Ronin Warriors sounds familiar. Um, when you, I will come back around to this one. When you start giving answers, I'm going to look this one up so I can, like, visually see it or whatever, right? Um, so, this next person said, definitely made in Abyss an Attack on Titan. I'm dinging the Attack on Titan for sure because obviously, like, you know, who the fuck wouldn't want to experience that shit for the first time, like, all over again? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's reasonable. Have you heard of Made in Abyss? I don't know. Oh, the abyss part sounds um much more call it i feel like i've seen that around yeah, 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 I yeah, don't, yeah i don't know it so i feel like i've definitely heard of the name but i i've never seen it i know that for a fact um mm -hmm. yeah so okay so that was the actually let me just pull it up on my on my phone so are we we're talking about like shit that's already Fully animated, done. Yeah, yeah, like something you've seen, obviously, that it was so good that you wish you could have seen it for the first time all over again. That is, mm. that is uh what we're talking about here today. Now I'm I'm, I had it in front of me on my computer, but I feel like it's it's just it's more consistent if I just have it on my fizz zone right in front of me, guys. Um, but yeah, don't worry, I'm getting there. Um, bup, 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 bup. here we go. Community tab again, guys. YouTube.com 
if you're you know listening if you're on the spotify or apple wherever you're listening make sure if you want to definitely because for some reason they change how we can get engagement on spotify um so like there's only polls now like and i think you can leave comments um but just in case always check the social sec- check the community tab um so here we go so what's an anime you wish to watch it for the first time again so i'm gonna go down the list this person said bleach and digimon approved third on two no no i'm just saying i'm just reading i'm just reading what yeah, people yeah, said yeah 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 people yeah so so like what do you what do you think about bleach and digimon you you, you those are good answers i mean bleach 100 percent. because i would consider i would consider that um like one of my tops to you know experience that again i guess right um, right digimon i don't really have much of a comment but well, I don't. I'm not yeah. hating on Digimon. No, no, no. Like, yeah, yeah, your your experience with Digimon different. I did, you've seen the first no, season, I, right? I mean, yeah, I've seen the movies too. Oh, yeah, you wa- we watched Try Together. Yeah, that I was f- great. <laughs> that was great, bro. From what I remember, but it was kind of like I guess watching it back then was um. I want to say like a little trippier, confusing. Ah, uh, like okay. back then, because yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like a, a different. It was different like parts of the story. Like when you say back movie. then, like when we were watching Try, yeah. that's what because oh, okay. like they got older and shit, right? Right, got, right, right, like, right, 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 yeah, right. It was okay. different. It was right. different. That makes sense. I yeah. didn't expect that. So for me, obviously, when it comes to Digimon, I feel like obviously I grew up with it, just like with Pokemon. Like you grew up with Pokemon too, but it was different because like. I was watching all these shows simultaneously, like Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, Pokemon, Monster Rancher, all that shit. So, like, Digimon, I kept up with until the third season, Tamers. That's a popular one. A lot of people love that one. Um, and the first season, so, like, if you didn't, if you didn't watch the first season and then you watched Try, like, you could still enjoy it. Like, you still enjoyed it, but, like, if you watched the first season and then you seen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Then you'd have a you'd have a better experience, I would think, because you you would have at that point you would have had already established a connection with the characters. Yeah, I mean, try as they got older, because like you know they look completely different from when they were children. I feel like okay, so yeah. like I didn't. Yeah, I was trying to like connect the names with the faces. Some and more shit. or less though. Yeah, like. Like, and then I even got confused when like the fucking Digimon fused together. Like, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the two. Yeah, right. Are you? Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about like what? Who are you talking about? I'm, I feel like. What, are, what are you talking about when they just digivolve? They digivolved in the Tri movie. I'm yeah. talking about the Tri movie. I'm pretty di- to defeat whoever they were facing. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, two hold of on. the Digimon like combine or some shit. Okay. You're talking about not the try movie. You're talking about the movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie's fire. That's Omnimon. Yes, yes. Omnimon. So they basically fought this like crazy OD, OD. mega virus yes. Digimon. Yeah, that was a It was corrupting movie. like everything. Yeah. And they and 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 um War Greymon and I think it was and War Garurumon. It, it was ties, right? It was Ties yes. and Joes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. yes, yes. That's the one you're thinking about. That movie's fire. That shit, that movie still got like, the thing with Digimon that what a lot of people don't know, and I guess like for the f- food for thought, right? So the movie we got, the Digimon, they call it Digimon the movie. That's actually three movies. That's what I'm saying though. That's probably why I like watching it back then. It was like, a lot of stages in a movie, so it was confusing. For yes, me. like to follow like yes. all the characters and their growth. Because the so the first the first so let's call it by acts. The first act was obviously one movie, and that was like a weird backstory retelling of like what the first episode for the characters of the first season of Digimon was, and like Agumon was way bigger. Do you remember that shit? Like he was. <laughs> He was way bigger than how we remember him as. And he fought like this big ass Birdmon or some shit. Yeah, yeah. And then the second act is when they, I think that's when they start like, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they do the whole Omnimon thing. When they fight the, you know, the, the virus mon or whatever the fuck, I forget what it was called. Um, 
And like they're fighting him in like the digital world and all that shit. And then the third act is when they involve the second season characters. And it's like, all, it's something completely different. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But the tri- I'm talking about the tri- the tri movies were not movies for us. They ben- They basically just divided up whatever they had and then they gave it to us as like episodes uh, and but that's yeah, what we watched okay, okay, yeah, and yeah. they were older yes, yes yeah 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 fucking fire i love to talk about digimon but you know like i think i think after so since you remember the movie i feel like you would definitely like the 2020 anime because the 2020 anime is like a remake of the first season mm. and like there obviously it's adventurous because it has to that's like you know kind of the point um, but what isn't adventurous and, and shonen? There's always an adventure, right? Yeah. Dude, the first like two episodes, you're gonna be like, what the <laughs> fuck is going like I'm like like I'm not even gonna spoil it for you in case you ever do get curious, but like y- the first reaction you're gonna be like, How are they doing this already? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, next thing. This next person said the whole big three approved. One piece. Naruto Bleach. Correct. Yeah. Bro, I even got I'm not even gonna go into it too hard because I, w- I don't want to kill a whole episode, but everybody should know how I feel about Naruto at this point. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, welcome to the show. Naruto is such a big, has a big influence and impact on my life that like Sometimes I can't even talk too much about it because then I get emotional. That's how you fucking. That's how you know that shit is. It, it's a it's a certified banger across all the boards. Like Naruto sits at a top spot for me. Like mm-hmm. it's always in number one. Like for a lot of different reasons. Um, Bleach. I could. I. You know what? I. I think if I was to rewatch that for the first time ever. I would at this point definitely fucking skip the fillers. You have to. No doubt about that. I already did that shit. Yeah, yeah. I've done that like a few times, I think. Ble- Bleach, funny enough, Bleach is obviously, I've said this before, Bleach is one of the Bleach is one of the first shows that I learned what spoilers or not spoilers, uh fillers were. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Um and then One Piece, I mean, I'm already experiencing that for the first time anyways, right as it is right now. So for you with that like, you know, like I don't know how to feel. <laughs> piece, honestly just because it's so long and like i can't commit like, yeah to just, like getting in like you know you know what's funny part your shout out to our boy house top who he's on the patreon so if you want to see the episode with him check it out um and the preview clip is already on the channel he he told me he caught up with the manga mm, i mean i could never that's an achievement in and of itself bro like that should be on a resume <laughs> like you go <laughs> you go to apply for any job and you put at the top Cardable One Piece. That that proves and shows complete dedication. Mm-hmm. Complete and utter dedication. So, okay. This next person says B Stars. I'm not gonna lie. Have you ever heard of B Stars before? No. Okay. B Stars, I think, for I wanna assume for many folks that are not too familiar with dabbling outside of the shonen realm b stars is a very unique show i have actually seen the first season believe it or not it's a very different kind of show i'm not gonna lie to you i don't think you'd like it i'm not even gonna lie i i i I don't think you would like it in the slightest it's from what i can recall it's basically a show where all the like characters are like these uh, like animal, they're like they're like it's like it's like the perfect show for furries. That's the easiest way I could put it. No disrespect, but everyone is like an animal, human, humanoid type mm. thing, and a, it's like I don't even know if you could call it slice of life. You could, tell me in the comments, like what would you classify B stars as? Um, and basically what happens is like the there's a wolf that's the main character, and then there's a bunny who's like I guess like the love interest or eventually becomes the love interest and obviously wolves they like eating a lot of shit so there's this weird dynamic where it's like he likes her but he wants to like eat her and it's just like all right i'm not gonna watch a second season and i know you're not definitely gonna watch a second season but 
yeah. If, for those that like that kind of stuff, more power to you. Uh, this per yo, this person said One Piece and Attack on Titan. <laughs> Not gonna knock it. Uh, this next person said, I hope this isn't a hot take, but I love to watch Jujutsu Kaisen for the first time again. As someone who didn't get into it until season two, that whole three to five business days it took <laughs> to watch was very fun. I like how they answered that. I'm gonna prove that as well. Listen, man. Well, what are your thoughts on that, Jujutsu Kaisen? I mean, so when it comes to this question in particular, right? I feel that the anime should be rightfully finished already. That yo, that's fair. That's um, very fair. Like, I like that because answer. if it's still continuing, and you know, a new season's coming out, for example, or they're still even they're still coming out with manga, like I don't think it fits the criteria of the question. <laughs> But it's like I'm not knocking Juju. You can't. No, 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 no. I get but, it. Like I get it. You know, for the sake of the question, correct. Like it should be a finished anime. Right. Or, right. 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 You know. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'll say. Probably. I like that response a lot. That is very fair to say because I think like for a show that's not done, it's like I get that if you really love it that much, you would definitely want to feel that first time feeling yeah, all yeah. over again. Yeah. But I think it is fair to say, um, or at least to wait until it's done to just be like, okay, I want to watch that <laughs> shit all over again. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that I think is is more fair um, to say. But you know what? It is what it is. I don't know if I know if I told you or if I mentioned this before, but Jujutsu's ending. Already, S just like with My Hero Academia. Yeah. My Hero Academia manga done. For those that don't know, Jujutsu still feels fresh as fuck. A, right, but my hero has been here for a bit. Jujutsu but Kaisen it, came uh, out shortly after. Really? Yes. It doesn't feel that way. It, but that's what that's how it is. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um. Okay. This person says, Naruto, Dragon Ball, Jujutsu Kaisen, Bleach, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> how you feel about JoJo? Never really watched it. I only know the nigga with the that can freeze time. Oh well, yeah. From that, the Jump Ultimate Stars. That's 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 that Jojo. That's, that's Jojo. I'm that's pretty Jojo. sure. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're not big like Jojo heads here, unfortunately. If House Top was here, then uh, he would be the vouch for Jojos. But unfortunately, I have, I have seen the first three seasons of Jojo. There's, I think, as far as the anime is concerned, there's three parts. Mm. Oh no. I'm sorry, five parts. There might be six at this point. I have seen the first three. The third part is long. It's like 48 episodes. Wow. Compared to the first two, like the first part is like 10 or 12. The second part's like in the 20s. And then part three is fucking, for me, it was a drag. And I'm sure I'm offending a lot of people by saying that. But dude, I think JoJo's at the end of the day is an acquired taste. And th that might be a hot take in and of itself, but as someone that is not really all for the meme culture, like, don't get me wrong, I like a funny meme, mm -hmm. but I don't like how everything is a meme, if that makes sense. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am someone that, like, if you show me something funny, I will laugh. But if, like, if any little thing you do just gets memed, I'm just like, this is like beating a dead horse kind of thing. Yeah. JoJo, I think what really turned me off wasn't even the show per se. It was the fucking community. Mm. The fandom, like, I, like, JoJo's been around for a long time, which is the funny part. And that shit, the fucking light's turning blue over here. I don't know what the hell it's... happened. That's I know, crazy. But... Jojo, I'm trying to think of how I want to say this. When I was watching this shit, and I was, and I, and I was under, and so I learned, I knew, I was like, because I've been, I saw Jojo in the store. I was like, oh, you could buy this manga right now. Like, it's old. It's been around for a long time. In the mid 2000s, like in the mid 20 teens, it just came out of nowhere and everybody was on it because that was when meme culture was really starting to like take form. Mm -hmm. 
And so someone on the internet discovered JoJo, and then everybody discovered JoJo, and then they started memeing the shit out. The world, though. Everybody was saying that shit. The world, though, this, the world, though, that. And I'm like, this is annoying. Mm. And so I was already turned off. And when I finally decided, okay, I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna come around and give it a fair chance to watch it. I already had all that shit in the back of my mind. And I'm watching it and I'm just like, this is like very okay. Yeah, okay. Very okay. Like it has its moments, but I like I have enough of a disinterest to not continue, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So Understood. that's, you know, but all the other ones that you said, Naruto, Dragon Ball, of course. Psh, imagine watching Dragon Ball for the first time all over again. Psh, that would be crazy. That would be nuts. I, I wouldn't even know how I would re like, I mean, I'm sure. With like no memory. Or like, imagine. Bro, yo. Like that's what I'm, that's what I'm grasping from this question, bro. Like not knowing it at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> Change the color. I'm but. just making sure that we have this green on. But yeah, no, that, yeah, I can't, I can't even, I can't fathom that. I truly can't. Like, that's where I'm coming <laughs> from with this shit. Like, when I'm thinking about it, like, watching it for the first time. Like, uh, yeah. Literally. That's, yeah. Like, I can't. So. so this person says, obvious, but Dragon Ball Z. Yup, fair. <laughs> Definitely fair. Um, Like, I, like, we're already talking about it, but like, I can't. Do you so that's all that you know what makes it that one a hard one because Dragon Ball is what set the precedent, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, imagine putting yourself in a position where you have some ability to wipe your memory off of one show and you wiped all your memories from anything Dragon Ball related no Dragon Ball, no Z, no GT, none of the Super Dragon Ball heroes, no Dragon Ball Super, no movies. No fan made shit. It's all gone. But you have every memory of everything else, like Naruto and Bleach. And basically, what I'm trying to get at is all the things that took inspiration from Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. So, if you were to watch it for the first time ever with all the other memories, would you, do you think that would make you take Dragon Ball differently? Would that. Would would you think less of Dragon Ball? I guess is the better question I'm trying to. Um, I don't know. That's I hard. I don't think so. Because, I mean, for me, I started with Z. I didn't even really like do anything with regular Dragon Ball when right. you know, Goku was kid and shit. Um, so I was already like in action pack type shit. Not this in Dragon Ball, but you know, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> You know, like from the from the rip, it was pretty like action packed. You know, a little story, good power ups. You know, yeah, yeah, along yeah. the way, like it was great. And then, I mean, after Z's over, you know, I guess if you want, if you watch GT, because that was the next phase, then we watch GT. It's cool or whatever the case may be. Although you know, Kid Goku, that was depressing. <laughs> to see that was probably the only like depressing moment i had for, for like you know watching it but yeah. um then once you get into super then you know the animation style picks up to what you're kind of normally um watching nowadays i would say so like there's really no argument i guess that's I fair mean, that's fair i don't know that's fair i don't know how i would feel but <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's a, that's a hard one to to nitpick. So, okay, this next... So, all right, so that was the question of the week, guys. Again, if you don't want to miss out on this question of the week to get the first like, that, that first big chunk feature, then definitely follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, follow us, uh, subscribe to the YouTube, follow us on Facebook, threads. The questions will be literally everywhere, so there is no reason to miss out. We want you guys to take part and answer them so that way we have all this conversation to go off of. It is very fun, and I thoroughly enjoy doing it. Um, but 
we must now move on. So before uh, we do, we fully move on. I obviously have to go ahead and plug everything that, like I just said, the socials and everything, the Twitter. But specifically this time around, the Patreon. Okay, <laughs> guys, gals, if you are trying to see more of us, not just on a Friday. You know, Friday is usually the end of the week. But if you want us, if you want us to start your week, <laughs> okay. Mondays, okay. Remember when we used to upload on Mondays? Now you have it both Fridays on YouTube and Mondays on Patreon. If you are already tier one, tier two, tier three, that's all all the tiers we got. All right, we're not complicated. We want to get right to the point and get you guys this extra content. Tier one is the gateway. No, no fucking funny bones, no jokes, no this and that. Literally, you come in at tier one, you're getting basically everything. You'll get in those extra episodes on Monday. And that is going to obviously help build this podcast up. Obviously, your tier two, you already know. You hear your name shouted out at the end of these wrapped. And also, they're wrapped on that and those as well. So don't think we're, you know, we're just doing it for the YouTube. No, no, no. Y'all gonna get your flowers, okay? Because y'all are y'all y'all are stepping it up to that. Ah, you know what I'm saying? You you're powering up, so you're staying at full power, being that thriving Ozaru. Now tier three, that is specifically for them them folks that are trying to push it to limits even further beyond. If you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And those those folks. That are just like, nah, I don't want y'all on just Friday. I don't want y'all on just Monday. I want y'all more. That is to support a brand new series of shows. I don't even want to say it's just one show. But it'll just be extra stuff that we do outside the studio. Whether it's us playing games. Whether we're, we're going out and we're doing something fun. Whether we're with IQ and we're with Dad or... It doesn't matter if we're playing online. We're doing something outside of these here seats. That's what that tier is going to support. So again, guys, the Patreon. If you're trying to like show us the most type of support outside of liking these videos and subscribing if you haven't already, definitely hit us up on that Patreon. Okay? Especially if you're trying to see us do this full time because then, then, then... I'm already working at working hard on this shit as it is, but I'm telling you, look, there's so there's so much to look forward to. Did Dad took talk to you about Warhammer? What is that was the picture he sent? It was like that video. I didn't that watch link. it. Yet. I I I didn't watch it yet because I already knew who he was talking about. But he called it like he didn't say the whole thing. Like when he when he talked to me he just about said it, it's time or some shit. Oh well, yeah yeah yeah. He said it's time, but like he. It's like the full title is like Warhammer something Space Maria or yeah, some shit like that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when he texted me about it, he goes, "Yo, Space Maria." I heard it's like Gal, and I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, let me, let me, let me dad translate really quick. So Gal, I'm sure he's ta- referring to Gears of War. Oh, yeah, Gears of War movie? No, 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 no. It's not a movie. It's a game. This is a game we're talking about. So this could be potentially something that we do for that, you know, for the Patreon, right? So Warhammer, from my understanding, is a third-person shooter. And the characters are bulky, kind of like in Gears of War. And there's, like, you know, a lot of, like, shit you got to kill and shoot and everything like that. And it's something very different. Um, But he said it, like, you know, it reminds him of Gears of War. So I'm just like, bro, I'm down. That's what I was saying. I'm in. You know, Gears of War is coming back right oh yeah 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 I s- apparently <laughs> yeah it's probably not anytime soon yeah no. but yeah but I, I saw a little trailer i was like what mm-hmm. that's kind of funny yeah so i'm saying so guys if you're trying to see us do all this cool shit hit that patreon up that's what i'm saying and oh and and i will say this one thing y'all can look forward to is when sparking zero drops okay there will be times we are going to have to tell nick bring your shit And we're going to run the set. I already have ideas. I already have ideas. Like, so it's like, yeah, it's like, sure, we can pick our favorite characters and try to whoop each other's ass with our favorites. But 
You know the real test of who really has it? You want to be on that Kai level? Random. Random select will do 5v5 battles and see who the fuck really is with the shits. You know what I'm saying? Let us know what you guys want to see. You want to run that roulette or whatever in Spark and Zero because I am down and I'm ready for that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Cool. I mean, I already know Nick. He gonna be taking that shit dumb serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's he's locked in on that. Um, really quick before I go into some some of the comments that you guys may have left from last week's episode. Um, yo, apparently on the TikTok, and I'm looking at it right now. So I asked last week on last week's episode, episode 152, or wait, 151. I'm sorry. Y'all would delete. Like, what would you delete? Like, what anime would you delete, right? Mm. Yo, do you want to know what one of the highest commented series was? What? One Piece. Delete? To delete. Wow. That, bro, as someone that's only just barely getting into it, like, I only just started it, like, a few years ago, like, get, like accepting and getting into it and being like, yeah, I'm a fan of this now. Bro, that kind of hurt my feelings. It's not even finished. <laughs> that's the crazy that's the funny part so alright so that's the funny that that's the funny part right so I'm gonna I'm gonna brisk through this and I'm trying to find all of the One Piece responses and like and okay so this person said One Piece too long are they caught up <laughs> and then but the but the responses to those are even funnier this, this dude like jail now <laughs> <laughs> right <clears throat> so then let's see uh, where is the other one that I saw? Oh, yeah, this person, yeah, so this person was trying to stick up for it. Oh, yeah, this person just said One Piece. This person said, One Piece and not just the anime, the manga too. <laughs> he's just, he's probably a troll. He's just fucking mad, bro. They, they said, just so I can see the world burn. <laughs> but they said, by the way, they love One Piece, so that's kind of like crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this person said, One Piece, that fan base is too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So, I literally was like, I responded to this person. I'm like, so, because of the fan base? Damn. And they were like, the Jehovah Witness of anime. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then, and then and people were agreeing with the Hunter Hunter response. More One Piece. <sighs> I Like, so... Have you seen the the fan base of One Piece like actually be like OD like that? Like me personally, I don't think I ever have. Uh, not to my knowledge. I mean, when it comes to anime, I don't have. I don't think I have too many anime friends. But mm. you know, in that sense, yeah, 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 yeah. But that watch it like how I watch it in a sense. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. they might watch like some of the main Johns. Right, but right. that's it. Um, but as far as One Piece is concerned, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't hear it like that. The one thing I do hear from One Piece fans over the years, they're just constantly trying to just get people to to watch, to watch it. it. Yeah. So if that's the annoying shit, <laughs> damn. That I mean, like. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Like, yeah, God forbid, I'm trying to get more people to like what I like. You know what I'm saying? You know, recommendations. Does One Piece even have a filler list? Yeah, of course. You can Google that shit. There's a website for that. I forget what it's called at the top of my head, but like there's literally a site that's designated to avoid fillers for all anime. I wonder out of how many episodes One Piece has, how many fillers they have. I know it's a lot. Cause for a fact. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to bring that up really quick because like that's just kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so I guess we could I, I could talk about some some of these comments. Um Okay. Uh so yeah, so this this actually so a lot of the so pretty much all the comments um are basically like continuing to answer the question from last week's episode. Um just the just to read off a few because there's quite a bit here. Um, <laughs> so this person said, would delete Seven Deadly Sins. I never watched it. I didn't either, but dad did. He did? He did. That's funny. 
Well, actually, he, I think he said he read it, which is random. Yeah, that's random. Which I'm like, what the fuck? You don't be reading. You like you. You don't read shit. Like, yeah. <clears throat> but they they go on to say the memes about seven deadly seven deadly frames are funny as hell. But like, its existence is not worth it. Mm. So this other person, they commented under, and they said, I watched it, but not all. Lost interest after a while. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because the funny thing is, and this actually, this is like quick story time. <laughs> okay. I knew a guy. I, tech, I I still know him, but like I haven't talked to him or seen him in, in years. Okay. This guy is one of those fans that he is very opinionated. But I mean, I guess the same could be said about anybody, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when you really like something, you're going to have your fucking opinions on it, yeah. right? Bro, this guy used to have arguments with anybody who would give him the time about who he believes was the big three. That's a pointless argument, low-key. Correct. You'd be correct. Okay. So this guy, you might, uh, we'll see how you react to this, okay? He thought that of his big three, it should have been like Naruto, something else, and Seven Deadly Sins. Okay? Now, yeah. now obviously, no one's going to argue Naruto. Right? But the fucking fact that this dude threw Melodius in there, and that's the main character's name, he gave up, he gave some bogus ass reasons to back his claims. And I, I kid you not, I remember everybody under those comments being like, bro, Seven Deadly Sins is not even Shonen Jump. And then he goes to, so he continues and he's like, but that shouldn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's kind of the point. But yeah, seeing Seven Deadly Sins reminded me of that dude. Um, shit, it was such a fucking long time ago. And I thought about that right now because <laughs> that shit was old. Um, but yeah, I don't... And, and, and unfortunately, like that's something that I'm not going to lie. Like I don't think I'd ever watch it with everything else that's you know that's like i'd rather rewatch naruto i'd rather start a rewatch on something i've already seen than watch seven daily sins because like not you know no offense but again i've just heard a mixture of mid to bad things about it yeah yeah um okay so moving on i wanted to also bring up today that i actually started reading a book yeah mm -hmm. And this book is actually one that you have as well. Uh, or the Ikigai shit? The, <laughs> it's the Ikigai. Ikigai. Yes. Yeah. Um, I wanted to bring it up because, so this was a gift that we both got on our birthdays, yeah, on yeah. like on each of our days. Um, Ikigai is, if I'm getting this correct, is like the meaning of life or like the purpose, like you finding your purpose in life. Um, it's a rough translation, but I did start reading it and, um, I think you'd like it. I mean, it's like, it's not, you know, it's not like a fucking anime or something, but like, you know, it, it's obviously something that is studied directly from Japanese culture. And the, I read the prologue. And so the prologue talks about like, you know, like there's all these different, you know, ways to look at like what the purpose of life is what's the meaning of life like you know all this all these idealistic views and then they go in deeper and they're like they mention like there's a specific town in japan that holds the highest life expectancy in the world so right now there's some japanese motherfuckers over there that are past 100 and they're chilling no problem that's god like and you have to ask, how is that possible? Mm -hmm. What does it take? Like, does it does it does it require a certain amount of like 
activity or you have to stay active like how's your mindset all these different things so that's kind of what this book is setting itself up to dive into and explain and i guess through people's like i guess whatever they they because it's like two authors and like so whatever like anecdotes or people's stories Mm -hmm. that they share in this in this book that's where they're gonna give the reader uh, some sort of better idea as to how exactly that is. So, I mean, as far as, like, recommendations go, um, aside from, you know, because I think this applies, because, I mean, it's Japanese, so, and, yeah. I mean, let's go, like, look, look around this. We're surrounded by Japanese shit. Um, those principles would be something that I feel like a lot of people would be would be able to, like, take away from and 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 apply in your own life. Mm. You know, so... Um, so when I told mom, I like started to read it, she was like happy. She's like, Oh really? I'm like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, like, you know, um, because you know, I, 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 I obviously like I've taken a natural interest in the culture. I feel like to a degree, I, I know how the culture is. There's a lot that I don't, but like fundamentally being there and seeing how companies work there's like a certain like mindset that is practiced to this day and there's a lot of good but there's a lot of fucking what the hell are y'all doing type yeah. shit you know so i i'm looking forward to continue reading this book i that it's on my list my weekly to-do list that i i talked about that um i have it listed as continue reading he guy so you should definitely like when you get a chance read the prologue and then just continue like at your at your own pace, you know? Cuz the book is not that big, you know. Mm-hmm. It seems like if you were to read like a little bit every day or something, you know, it'll probably take you like not that much time to to read it and you might you might like, you know, mm-hmm. expand your your brain a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, it's not that bad. So all right. So there is that. Okay. So, we got this week's Who Am I? Are you ready to guess who this character is? I guess. <laughs> so many anime. So, yeah. So, obviously, we're sticking to the theme of anime. Um. So, I'm not going to try to, like, bamboozle you with, like, oh, this character is from a live action show. Like... Oh, this is the Flash. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that to you. Um, but this is this is supposed to be, um, like all anime, you know. And feel free play along in the chat if you if you guessed it right. Tell me when, like, what after what line you guessed it right. And if you got it, you know, just but you know, feel free leave a comment, whatever. So, are you ready? Sure. All right, bet. Okay. I am a fighter. Fighter. Like, <laughs> next. The, the, <laughs> yeah, the first ones are always vague. That's that's done on purpose. It's supposed to be it's go, it's supposed to be like hard to easier like with each line. Uh-huh. Okay. So here we go. I will be on the world Oh, I'm sorry. I will be one of the world's strongest. I will be one of the world's strongest. Yes. One of the world. Can I get hints? Like, is this like? Well, so until anime? until we have another person or more people to play, then the rules will change because right now it's just you. Yeah. There's no losing. I mean, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know, you can take a guess. I'm not gonna penalize you because we don't have like, you know, more yeah, people yeah, involved. Like- yeah. But yeah, I know I can't give you hints because okay. it'll give it away. Yeah. But yeah, so so far I am a fighter and I will be one of the world's strongest. So imagine characters that may say things like that or have that type of energy. One of the world's strongest. I'm a fighter. Uh, one of the world's strongest. <laughs> I mean, what the, not next. next <laughs> I can't okay, even okay, guess okay. off that. Okay. So I train really hard. Goku. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> that nigga trains a dumb hard. Like I know. Anyone's. I know. I know. But it's not Goku. It's he not trains, Goku. He trains really hard. Okay. Next one. Okay. My rival can sometimes be a pain. Vegeta? Incorrect. <laughs> no. It is not Vegeta. Rival could be a pain. Okay. Next line. I changed my now wife's life. Now wife? The fuck? Yeah, so the context is that the way this person is describing themselves, he oh they are saying that they changed their wife's life, but emphasizing that at one point obviously she wasn't. His wife. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Now she is, or they are his this wife. This can't be anybody from Dragon Ball. Because I ain't picking Gohan. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now. I don't, I don't, you don't want to be if you don't want to guess, you could, you could pass. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Naruto. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this nah, next that nigga's a ninja. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, this this, this next line, you should come closer to an answer. Yeah. I will admit. So just to be nice, the characters you were guessing, you're in the right world of Dragon Ball. So okay, right. So this next line, this actually might piss you off. Now I think about it. I enjoy a peaceful life patrolling for justice. Krillin. Hey, there it is. He did not want to be the strongest. That's so terrible. No, 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 no. He well, he definitely did. What do you mean? This so, nigga was not the strongest. Okay. After Z. Okay. Okay. After fucking Vegeta. <laughs> after they went to <laughs> Namek, this nigga was not. It was nowhere near. Yeah, but okay, but okay. He lost all hope. <laughs> Okay, so some of the lines I wrote in the perspective of, like, when he was younger, too. So, like, Dragon Ball version of Krillin, he absolutely would want to be All the right. strongest. All right, but, yeah, no, not now. N- well, maybe not, not even now. Z. No, 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 obviously not. But it was a mixture. Like he changed I changed his wife. Think about it. Exa- Android fucking 18. The, yeah, see? See? I will be the world's strongest. I train really hard, obviously. My rival can sometimes be a pain. His rival at the time, Goku. That was his rival, bro. I'm telling you. And then obviously that patrolling for justice shit, that just gave it away. If you didn't guess so it if after you that. Said six dots, I would have fucking Oh well clearly. <laughs> but I'm not gonna say that because that shit would have given it away mad easy. I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so feel free if you if 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 you would like to give me a who am I then you have a whole week to come up with lines for any character and then I could I could play along. Or if you know anyone in the chat, you guys got one that you might want me to do on Brother Ooch or vice versa <laughs> or whatever. So uh just yeah, just let us know. Um also, so I will mention there's another there's there's another game that I'm trying to introduce to the to the to the podcast. It's gonna be very difficult right now because like it would just be another one of those things that i would have to like come up with on my own and then you'd be the one to have to ask but this game would require it needs more people to be like way more fun um and i mentioned on the last episode uh i'm calling it for now chi chi scholarship which is like a mixture of anime trivia and real life trivia Mm. to like put our minds to the test and it's just different it's fun and it's you know whatever um but, you know, IQ not being here fucking hurts us uh, because uh, I, I talked to him about it. And he said, like, that would be something that he would actually like doing. So he would actually have to fucking answer his phone. <laughs> but In college, life, I guess. No, or I'm just too cool. Oh, I'm 18 now. Oh, Fuck y'all it. type shit. You have to be my girlfriend to talk <laughs> to fucking get an answer out of me type shit. <laughs> fucking head ass shit. Whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, I'll bring this up too now. So, also, along with a lot of the comments that we were getting from the last couple clips that I've been putting out, bro, apparently, and this is way out of left field for even me, Mad Heads are saying Hunter Hunter is not that good? I've Dude. I've never watched it. So, I, okay, I have seen the first, like, four episodes, and I will admit... I was also wondering, like, what is the hype with this show? Because at first, it seems like it's a fucking fishing anime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? (laughs) But apparently, it's supposed to, like, heat up and get, like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, that's all I've ever seen. But then once I put this clip out, and I'm, you know, I'm answering these, asking these questions weekly, I'm getting all these new responses. Apparently, the updated facts are that... It's not that good, <laughs> which is the first time I'm ever hearing that shit about Hunter Hunter. I literally all I ever hear about Hunter Hunter is how fucking good it is, how great the manga is, and it's like beloved. And now I'm hearing the opposite. It's not that good. It deleted. Mm. You know. Interesting. Yeah, like I wanted to bring that up, like you know, briefly because. I'm just like, shit, like, how the fuck, uh, like, people love Hunter x Hunter, and now apparently it's just like, people are just over it, and I don't think it has anything to do with the manga being on, like, constant hiatus, because that's another one that's not finished. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's another one that's been around for a long time, it got, like, it had, like, an old anime, and then it got a new anime, and people were happy with that one, but, uh, Togashi, I don't, I think that's the author's name, I could be wrong, sorry if I, I butchered it. But, yeah, he takes, you know, his time. And, you know, he goes on his hiatus. And listen, if you're a mangaka, bro, I'm telling you right now, that shit is not an easy job. Okay? It, it, is, it is not it's not an easy job at all. That shit is very ex- excruciating. And it takes a lot of time, especially if you're, like, up and coming. You don't have no, like, assistance. Even with assistance, like, it's it's a grind. Like we mm-hmm. we we intake stuff like that every week, and we take it for granted because we're just like we're seeing the characters and all that shit in the world that we expect to see, and we just we we just keep wanting, but the process that goes behind the people kind of like forget about. Same with anime, same fucking shit, bro. It's like people they people, these these creators need some respect on their names. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. So I'm just checking. To see if there's anything else that is worth like bringing up. Um, oh, okay. So I guess I will bring this up because it is it it made a headline on Anime News Network. This is the site I'm about to use to like see if there's anything crazy going on in anime manga world. And to, apparently today there was a Nintendo Direct, which I was so mad about because I had first of all I had no idea. Mm. Second of all, um, I would have loved to have reacted to it, obviously. Um, but I have no time, clearly. That's fine. I made peace with that. But Capcom announced another fighting collection. And when I tell you that Capcom is on their shit this year, they, first of all, earlier this year, they announced the Marvel vs. Capcom collection. That in and of itself is huge Mm. because that means that Marvel and Capcom are in a working relationship again, which means that later in life, sooner rather than later, we will be getting a Marvel vs. Capcom 4, a true Marvel vs. Capcom 4 with all the X-Men characters that they took out from Infinite and da-da-da-da. Y'all, some of y'all might know that little story. I'm not going to get too much into it, but... Now, they're not just having the MVC collection come out this year. They're having a fighting collection, too. Because there was already a fighting collection, which had a lot of Street Fighter, a lot of Dark Stalkers. Dude, this one, this one has all of the missing heavy hitters. It has. Let me see. I'm, I'm trying to get. Okay, here's the list right here. Capcom vs. SNK, Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Capcom vs. SNK 2, Mark of the Millennium 2001. That's that one right there. CVS 2, 
bro, people losing their mind. The, the tweet itself had 20K likes when I saw it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Capcom Fighting Evolution. That's when we played with that. It had like a couple street, different Street Fighter characters. It was a fucking dinosaur from Red Earth. I don't, you know. But mm -hmm. if you saw the characters, you'd probably be like, oh yeah, I remember this shit. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Project Justice. Bro, first of all. For those that are hearing me talk about this right now, and you know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro, this is real. This is real life. We are finally getting a collection with games that we've been waiting to have some sort of revival after all these years. So Project Justice, uh, uh, it was a very popular Sega fighting game that Capcom did, along with Power Stone and Power Stone 2. If you've never played those games, they are like, uh, it's kind of like they're like arena fighters. Mm. This was a lot, uh, I've heard some people refer to it as the Hood Smash Brothers, right? <laughs> yeah, so like, that's what was on the Dreamcast. And then Plasma Sword, Nightmare uh, of Bilstein, which I've never played. But Hayato, who's a character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, he comes from that game. So we're looking at eight titles. And uh, and and not even arguably, but def definitely like maybe four out of... So like at least half of these games, people have been waiting for years to be available on a local or not local but on modern console and i think that shit is so sick and it's worth bringing up because i'm fucking excited for it and i can't wait and uh yeah <laughs> i know you play i mean you probably don't remember but back in the day we used to play cvs2 all the time <clears throat> that, that was, this was during a time when you played anything that i played <laughs> now now nowadays not so fucking much but unfortunately but <laughs> but yeah so um but yes so before we go guys another reminder please if you haven't already if you're stopping by you're breezing on by if you made it this far obviously hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not already and uh leave your thoughts comments suggestions whatever it is in the comment section below so that way we can continue to have these uh, very fun, fulfilled conversations and check out the Patreon because uh, as it stands right now, that's what uh, we're about to get ourselves into. Let's get it for the Patreon shout out. Okay, are you ready? I'm hopping in. Yeah. I'm hopping into the booth right now. Are you ready? Okay. Full Power Podcast slash Patreon. Let's get it. Okay. Anthony Parker. Park that. Jerick Rivera. Jerick Rivera. Lord Payne. Payne he's not. Mr. Back again once again. Back again once again. Odd Man Out. Never kind of out. Philly Handball. Smack that, nigga. Soul Awakens. <laughs> Wake your ass up. Super Sign SAWFT with a soft. Power up. Travis Boyette. 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 Vegeta Uchiha. Uchiha. Worse than a demon. Demon time. And there's one more. <laughs> of course, naturally, he's the only one. Land of the Rising Sun. He's our fucking boy. Stand up, everybody. Give it up for our man. Juice. Dance. Juice. Juice. All right, get them weapons out. Them ice. All right. And again, guys, remember, tier two, hear them names wrapped like so. If you're trying to get in on this hype, you're joining this energy, being a thriving Ozara and all that shit, the fun stuff. And of course, obviously, you're supporting this and you're trying to see us grow. If you're trying to see more content, check this clip out. Using the phrase, the big three, nowadays feels like a participation trophy if that makes sense okay. Okay. because like people are just they're taking like big well-received series oh you know what i'm saying and they're just yeah, being like, like yeah Hero, these black clover and attack on titan are the big you know yeah I yeah get you, you know what I, like yeah, that's yeah. kind of what i'm getting at yeah is there anything left that you uh you have for the people at home no just Stay fresh, stay clean, get yourself a nice fucking clone.
Je t'ai gagné. <laughs> Stay clean. I mean, yes. So that is going to be it for tonight, guys. It's been your boy, Ooch, the Lethal Ice Man, brother Ooch. And we will see y'all next time. <laughs>